Hey there, welcome to Val Ventures. A couple months ago, maybe three months ago, I was up here turning concrete form boards, old 2x12s, soaked with concrete, into window frames. These right here. I then talked to my brother-in-law about getting some custom vinyl frames made that I could glaze myself with the glass door units or the glass units out of commercial glass door freezers and here's the result this is a triple pane high strength tempered safety glass leftover was going to be thrown away glass door out of a freezer like you'd see in a Costco or a Sam's Club or a grocery store and now it's a landscape insulated window using high-end vinyl framing and custom-made air gap window call-out boxes. I did have to modify my original frame design. I didn't account for a change in mounting. Originally I was going to have them supported vertically between the two girts and just run the horizontals across. But I found it easier to get a straight line for the windows to follow by shooting a laser, making some marks, and then chalk lining where the windows will go all the way around the building. Also mounting it this way makes it a lot easier to cut the sheet metal out from the inside of the building where you have more of the flat. So a saw or a grinder or whatever can run across. You can get a, a better cut instead of trying to cut across the top of the ribs. It worked out fairly well. I have the extended areas here, about an inch and a half on each side for the horizontal. Cutting down the verticals gave me three attachment points per frame. The glazing glass was actually put in after the frames were mounted. I'll show you the outside alignment. But using three inch deckmate screws as well as liquid nails, I ended up with a really, really solid mount. There is a little bit of flex left. Once I get the building foamed, then I'll clean everything up, redo my electrical a little bit because this is all temporary permanent. And then I'm going to do some plywood sheeting along in here, which will fasten into these. Then they'll be rock solid. And this open area, the foam will build off the wall, come up around it to about where my finger is. And I'll have furring going across the inside of this, maybe 3 8 inch thick, maybe half inch. It'll build out to about here so that this will be solid and closed. The plywood will come up and close off everything and be about 6 inches over the top girt. Look, we have one of our famous Alaska state birds visiting. That is an Alaskan mosquito, also known as our Alaska state bird. Actually, it's not. It's the willow ptarmigan, but this is closer to the actual state bird. Well, we didn't need to get distracted by a mosquito that bad. But as you can see, we're about eight inches deep. This is within a quarter inch of the outside of the girt. So with four inches of foam, we'll be built up to about here. That puts the glass unit pretty close to dead center in the insulation portion, which is where you want glass. A lot of windows are get pushed out to the very, very edge of the wall for best effect they actually work better centered in the insulation package of the building but this will get furred in this will get sprayed this will get sheathed with three quarter inch plywood so i can attach anything to a wall anywhere i want it this will get closed off and then it'll look like a normal building with a normal window so i'd say not bad for a proof of concept of taking some old 2 by 12 concrete forms and turning them into something usable instead of scrap Try to make this one quick, the rain's coming down. I had a local sheet metal shop make me some sill trim to slide in over, you know, four inches each side of the sheet metal, slide in over on top of the wood, the wood call out box, the frame, the, the rough out frame, whatever you call it. If you know what you actually call the inside wood frame, leave a comment, because I'm always getting confused by it. And then it is sandwiched between the wood and the actual window frame. I left, a little bit of lip sticking out. I didn't go completely flush because I wanted my jam trim to pull up tight against it and not have any chance of exposed wood. 
the jam trim is left over that came with the building package for the doors. It's also the same as what they use for the windows from this company. And same as the header trim. I got lucky that the manufacturer here in town had a base color that so closely matched the original trim color that I don't think I'm going to bother repainting it. It'll all fade together. But from the outside, here we are. One, I think it's 63 inch by 29 inch picture window that's high strength, tempered, safety glass, triple pane. Now I just need to put in five more for the shop. And I have six awning windows for the west end of the building and the southwest side of the building for the house. Those are awning, they're all picture windows. They're gonna be the same orientation, same height. They're five inches shorter due to manufacturing limitations. And I couldn't use the triple pane glass doors in them. I had to have new units made. But those will be for the house. Every one of them can open, they'll all allow egress, but at least the heights will match. So there you go. Repurposing leftover materials to keep making progress on Valhalla. All, as I install more, this one was a proof of concept to make sure it worked. All video, how I'm putting the frames together, putting them into the wall and attaching them in upcoming videos. Probably, probably next one. I'm hoping to get back up here in three or four weeks. Until then, you've been watching Val Adventures. I'm Ryan. It may be raining, but I'm having a great day, so hopefully you will too. Thanks for watching.